Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think the angel fish are spawning. Let's go check it out. Very quiet because I don't want to disrupt them. Uh, I didn't touch that wood. Maybe the ghost is back. Maybe it was coincidence. I don't know. Hopefully I didn't scare the angel fish. I got my 10 gallon light on here for now. So you can see because the other light is too damn bright. Look at the female going over it though. Let me sit down here. Yeah, she's spawning. Yeah, look at the male. Let's see if you go. Oh, fuck. Look at all those eggs. I told you, Mike. I told you, Mike. He's going over it. Holy fucking shit. She laid a lot of eggs. Oh, they're falling down. Oh, hopefully they'll learn to pick them up. You see, he's like, fuck you, get away. Oh my god, they're dropping all their eggs. What the hell is going on? Oh, this is weird. I've never seen that before. never seen the eggs that you fall off the, off the leaf or whatever you want. I'll lay the camera down here for a second. I think the male is going to go get them and make sure they don't uh, get messed up down there. I'm going to look on top and see how many eggs are actually on this leaf. Because I see, like, just the, their eggs are just falling off the leaf. I don't know what's going on. Let me look over here. Oh, snap. Boosh. Look at all those eggs on that felt that's fallen. This is a pretty good spawn. I think he's going over it too. I'm not sure. Let's see if he goes over it any. Hot damn. They're doing it good this time. Last time they didn't do good do such a good job. So what's gonna go on here, Mike? Don't worry, I'm gonna come back to it. I know you wanna see this. But uh what's gonna be happening there, all depending on those eggs they actually live. I wanna show you a little little technique I came up with. Not the best fry hatchery. I'm posting new water in here, but check it out, check it out. This is a whisper filter driven by air pump, right? Fuck if I can get this out. Well basically water comes up through the pipe, pushes up by air and has to come up either through the front or either through the top. And I put this little sponge here so it can't get in and out of the top so it's got to come out that way it filters that much better. So what I'm going to do is clean this water out, put some, maybe some tank water in it probably, yeah. And uh, when these eggs, if all depends, if they take care of them this time, then uh, I'm not going to bother them. I'm just going to let them raise it because they're getting better every time they spawn. They were the worst parents ever. But now they're getting pretty decent at this and I got a decent amount of eggs. I've seen a lot more in my older pair, but uh, it's a pretty decent amount. He's going over them too. So that's what's up. You see, some of those eggs are falling off. But uh, it's looking good. I'm going to put this air stone back in there. Not all the way down, but I want to see what's going on. Just leave it there for now. I'm not level down. See, that's what's going on, guys. My angel fish are spawning. Comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm going to hit you up with a maybe day-to-day -day video. I don't know. Later. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Later. That's a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. To be honest, I think this is the most eggs she's had because, I mean, she's getting bigger. She's getting better with every spawn. She's only going to get better. I'm debating, I'm debating. See, I don't know how good a parent these fish are. So, it's kind of, kind of screwing me over. Um, I could easily take the male angelfish and the ram and whatnot and put them in the pond, and, and in the fry pond, not the, not the big one. I would never find them in there. I could put them in there or I could take my 10 gallon thing. Take all my rainbows and ballast sharks and, uh, and my bait and put them in the pond and see what goes on. And I mean, they'll do good in there. And I could raise the fish. Oh fuck! There goes an egg. Now see, they're gonna get better next time. If they were good parents, like my old pair, 
they would go get the egg and put it back on somewhere. But I mean, they're getting a hell of a lot better <laughs> the first time these fish bred. Um, hell, the I don't think the male went over. I think the male went over them, but uh, the female just ate them because I think the fish were stressing her out and stuff. Um, but they're getting really good at it. The male's going over. He's fertilizing them this time. I know it for sure. So. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna, when they get done, I'm going to watch them a little while. If they start eating them, I'm going to take the eggs out and put them in a 2.5 2. and uh, run a heater, run some chemi-pure, I mean, some, chemi -pure, some, uh, some carbon and uh, just a regular plant bulb. And just wait till they hatch in a couple of days, five, seven days. Fed, feed them some egg yolk and uh, then transfer them to a bigger tank and so on and so forth. But it'd just be nice if uh, they would raise them and they would fan them. And when they hatch, I can just scoop them out with the net. That'd be so much easier. But uh, I think it's best to take the eggs out once they get done. But you gotta, even if these two aren't good, good parents this time, I've got rams. I've got another angel. You just that male. Nobody is coming over there. And I, if you haven't heard my story before about these fish, it's funny as hell. My male right here, the one on the top right here. He was the pushover in the tank. Um, he was the weakest angel I had. And where's my boy at? The white angel right here. Um, he stressed him out so bad he almost killed the black one, the marble half blushing. And uh, he hid behind the heater and the bamboo and the. Um, you see, he, he doesn't want them around. Um, he had he had around there about maybe a week week and a half he had ick I raised the temperature up and uh, I made sure I put my put my hand down there and sprinkled food to his mouth and he took it so I was like all right if a fish wants to eat it wants to live if a fish doesn't want to eat it doesn't want to live simple as that um, but he took it he wanted to live he, he ick was gone and then he came back and beat the hell out of this fish yeah. and almost instantly he started going for her and I swear they they made it um they started pushing each other around. She tested his strength, and uh, he's stronger than her. What they'll do is they'll lip lock, and the female will push the male, and they'll be like, "All right, if you're stronger than me, you're good enough to, you know, your genes are good enough for my genes, and we can have some babies." I mean, she's the only one to want the strongest fish. Um, if he's not stronger than him, she's not gonna go for him. So that's why I got him a girl in the 10 gallon right now but uh so pumped about this um college starts back the 22nd and hell i could use the money in angelfish i can raise them up pretty quick and you see that he doesn't want any fish around them it's one thing about angels you can have a sucky pair or you can have a good pair and i've got a theory about that if you have a bad pair there's either two things that can happen one is what mine are doing they can be a bad pair but with every spawn, they get a little better. And, uh, or you could just have some sucky parents that don't, they can't raise fry if their life depended on it. That's what's up, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Later. Hopefully the male went over these eggs this time. I saw him do it.